From Nutrient Ag Solutions, I'm Senior Meteorologist Andrew Pritchard with your Canadian Prairie Weather Story for Monday, April 24th, 2023. We'll start off looking at temperatures. They are coldest where we've got that fresh snowpack. We're below freezing where we've got that fresh snow on the ground. A couple degrees above freezing elsewhere, and then you can even find some mid single digits as you make your way through parts of central and southern Alberta. No one says mid single digits, but here we are, Monday morning. It's a uh, pretty quiet Monday morning as we look at the radar here. Some very light rain, some light snow across parts of central Alberta, maybe some raindrops in Edmonton, perhaps some light rain or some snowflakes making their way into Saskatoon as we get toward the later part of the day as well. We'll look at the precipitation forecast in a moment. First, looking at the satellite. Last week, we had two big storms, one kind of flanking each coast. Uh, across North America. A little bit quieter right now. We've got some disorganized systems that are making their way over the top of a ridge to our west. That's what's going to bring us that scattered precipitation over the next couple of days. It's two kind of subtle disturbances. I'll play it here. This is the next three and a half days. It takes us through Thursday afternoon. We'll bring it back here and time it out. Again, very light precipitation just in a pretty narrow corridor across parts of the Alberta Saskatchewan border today into tonight. As we get into the early morning hours on Tuesday, again, maybe some very light rain, some light snow across parts of northern and central Alberta and Saskatchewan, perhaps some raindrops in far southern Saskatchewan as we get into the afternoon and evening hours on Tuesday. This is now, let me bring it back here. This is sunrise Tuesday, midday Tuesday, and then Tuesday evening. We're really spending a lot of time talking about some very light precipitation. Here is Tuesday night. This would be as we wake up on Wednesday morning. Now we're looking at some rain showers along the Saskatchewan and Manitoba border. Snow north of Highway 16. This is midday Wednesday. And then this is now Wednesday evening. You can see the swirl of the system here. Here's the southerly flow in advance of that with the rain. We've got the colder air on the north side there. The area of low pressure right about here. And then we've got the next system trying to make its way in across uh, portions of Alberta here. This is Wednesday evening. We'll take it a little further then. This is sunset on Wednesday. This is now Wednesday night, and then here Thursday morning we wake up. Again, just some very, you know, isolated to widely scattered light rain or snow showers across the region. This is not going to be a widespread soaking event. This is not a disruptive winter storm. So you look at the precipitation totals by precipitation type on the top left, rain. Here's that snow. Again, just a corridor of some light rain showers, and then on the north side of there, generally north of the prairie, is where we may see a couple of inches of snow accumulating. We'll look at total amounts, liquid on the left, snowfall on the right. Again, the snow staying north of Highway 16, and then the precipitation here south of Highway 16, generally talking about five to 15 millimeters. On the high side, maybe 20 to 25. The GFS, which I'm showing you here on the right, we've got the European on the left, GFS on the right. This is the next 10 days. Much of this coming from the storm systems over the next three to four days. Pretty good agreement in general. When you look at the drier areas here, that's gonna be Southern Alberta, Southwest Saskatchewan. You're looking at a pretty dry next 10 days, not picking up much from the next two little waves here. And then as you look at the Highway 16 corridor, Pretty good agreement on that 5 to 15 millimeters. The GFS, like I said, a little bit more gung-ho on a, a corridor of some heavier uh, rainfall here, maybe 20 to 25 millimeters. It's the outlier here. I think it's much more likely places along Highway 16 are seeing 5 to 15 millimeters of snow. Uh, I'm sorry, of liquid precipitation. Again, likely on the rain side here, maybe mixing with snow. But I expect that snow to be north of 16. The probability of picking up more than half an inch of precipitation between now and the end of the week. GFS on the right, European on the left. Again, the GFS just a little bit more gung-ho, but a lot of this north of the prairie. Again, it's going to be a pretty dry next 10 days across this region. And then right in here, we're talking about 5 to 15 millimeters of pre uh, precipitation. I think anything more or less than that is going to be the outlier with the heavier amounts then well north of the prairie. Now, again, what's driving this? We'll take the, we'll take the, uh, the 500 millibar height pattern and we'll animate this over the next 10 days. Bringing it back to today, here's the departing trough. This is the one that brought all of the snow last week to parts of Saskatchewan and Manitoba. It's bringing a lot of cold air and a freeze down to the Midwestern US where I am. We had a freeze last night, temperatures coming down below freezing. That's pretty late in the season for us. And I know some folks had already got uh, planting. So we'll have to see what the impacts were there. As we come through the end of the week, here's the little 
you know, systems that are just kind of breaking off here before we get toward the end of the weekend to next week and we see a large ridge begin to build in across the region. That's going to give us drier conditions. It won't necessarily be, you know, a, a dramatic warm up. We're still kind of feeling the influence of that trough to our east uh, with some cooler air coming in. We'll see some shots of cooler air through the week. Uh, but then that, that really keeps us drier until we get to potentially next week. So what we have to talk about as far as precipitation goes really falls between now and next Thursday over the next 10 days. Let's look at this one more time, a wider picture. This is Monday. You see that light precipitation moving in two rounds right through this corridor. This is now Tuesday. Here is Wednesday, Thursday and now Friday into the weekend. Now we start to see that ridge beginning to build across the region that will keep us on the dry side through the weekend. This is Saturday. Here you see maybe some very light rain or snow showers making their way through Manitoba. That's where we're going to feel the influence of that colder air and that trough uh, to the east a little bit longer. Here we go. This is now Sunday into Monday. So, you know, there's some chances for some very light precipitation through the weekend, but it's light. By and large, we are influenced by that high pressure over the region with troughing on either side. And really, we're kind of feeling uh, the, uh, you know, the squeeze between two areas of high pressure across this region is what's helping us generate some of that precipitation early next week. But really inconsequential at this point, we'll try and, you know, uh, separate some of the details out as we get closer to uh, next week with some of those more subtle disturbances. Now, temperatures over the, the next 10 days or so going to be a little bit colder in the east. Uh, and it looks rather chaotic here, and it is across North America, but the, the influence in the prairie uh, is actually not that dramatic. You see a couple shots of cooler air, but by and large, nice week. As we look at temperatures in Calgary, a lot of mid to upper teens. You see some 20s as we get toward the end of the week into the weekend. Similar look here in Edmonton. You do see a little shot of cooler air uh, coming in here Wednesday and Thursday behind the pair of storm systems here early this week. But you too, near 20 as we head into the weekend. Regina, you got that snowpack, so it's a little bit cooler. You see that warm up though as we head through the rest of the week. Saskatoon, not quite so much snow on the ground. Temperatures a little bit warmer in the lower teens for much of the week. A couple shots of cooler air there. And then Winnipeg, you're a little bit more steady. You're a little bit more influenced from that low pressure uh, area just to the east. So we don't quite see the dramatic warm up. Instead, temperatures rather steady with highs near 10, overnight lows maybe a degree or so above freezing.